I'm so pumped. <laughs> uh, we definitely needed a change out of Washington. Uh, it's amazing to me that the world is so split in its approach to honesty, decency, and a path for you know good living in America. So I'm very excited to see a new uh, leadership, and uh, you know happy that 75 million Americans agree with me. I'm just really happy with the with the outcome because I felt like Joe Biden was the right man for the job, and I feel like Trump was unfit to be president. I'm very relieved that uh, we got this racist, misogynist, uh, venal person out of the office of president. At first, I was frightened it wasn't going to turn the corner, and then it did. And since then, I felt such a relief that our country is OK again. That's what it feels like. We're OK again. I'm very disappointed in it. I, I thought uh, Trump was, I thought he had it. Um, I, wasn't, I wasn't a big fan of the uh, mail-in votes. I thought that was uh, all Democrats right there. I think he would have, I think Trump would have won easily if it wasn't for that there. They say it's not over yet, but uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, right now we're still on hold. <laughs> but no, I'm, I'm, I'm happy about it. I just hope everything, um, you know, we find out everything's good and Joe's ready, Joe Biden is ready to do what he needs to do. Great to have a new administration in the White House and to have someone who takes the, you know, COVID pandemic seriously. Um, for myself, having, you know, family members and relatives personally affected by it, it means a lot. And I think, you know, it'll, you know, there's a lot of work to be done, but we're on the right track. Uh, Woohoo was what came first to mind. See, like that. Very thankful. And I'm thankful for the talks of healing and peace and the soul of our nation.